Patria Dishman here, and today this video is on brain health, specifically brain fog. Um, we're going to talk about one specific thing that causes it, um, and then another thing that's linked to it that is very rarely talked about. And then we're also going to talk about another thing that you can do to supplement your brain health that will help you to eliminate that brain fog that's caused by this one thing. Um, also, there are other things, of course, that contribute to brain fog. I have a PDF down in the description that it's a free PDF. You can click on that link and download that PDF for some other ways to help eliminate that brain fog. Okay, so let's dive right in. What is this one thing? And I'm sure you guys have heard of this before, but we're going to talk about it a little bit and about why um, this has become a big thing, and that is gluten insensitivity. What has caused that? for people to be so sensitive to gluten. Now, I suspect that maybe there's a lot of us that don't even put that together, that that's what's causing the brain fog, but it is one of the big things that's causing brain fog. And what has started this epidemic, you call it that if you want to, um, but um, it's because in, I think, the early 60s, they started hybridizing wheat. And the reason they started to do that was a uh, you know, a good reason it was to, they wanted to increase the yield of the wheat. So they started hybridizing it. And then in the mid nineties, they're about, they started genetically modifying it as well. And so what originally that looked like and what it looks like today, well, there is no comparison. It's not the same wheat anymore. And our digestive systems and then our brain cannot handle that, causing us incredible brain fog and also many issues as well, as well as bloating and um, digestive gut issues uh, because of that gluten insensitivity. Okay, so what is the other thing that I was talking about that's linked to that, that people don't really put two and two together? It's not just gluten insensitivity, it's also glyphosate sensitivity because our wheat our brain is highly sprayed with glyphosate to eliminate pests. Did you know that glyphosate has been patented by Monsanto as a um, uh, broad spectrum antibiotic? Now, supposedly that is just for the grain itself um, and doesn't supposedly doesn't affect humans. Well, it's not true. It is completely affecting us harming our sensitive gut microbiomes, you know, eliminating those good bacteria that we need, causing that brain fog. So it's linked the hybridized genetically modified wheat and the glyphosate that's just a one-two punch that is just creating all kinds of neurotoxicity causing that brain fog. So what do we have to do? Um, well, and then one little thing for me that I discovered is even oat milk. Now that is one of my favorite milk, well, it is my <laughs> favorite milk alternative, which I, even though it doesn't have gluten in it, I had to stop drinking it because it was causing me incredible brain fog and as well as bloating and weight gain as well. I had to eliminate it. And so for me in that case, it's not the gluten, it is the glyphosate which is because it's the oats are highly sprayed with the glyphosate. So again, like I said, it's, it's linked. It's that one, two punch, completely trashing your brain, trashing your gut microbiome. Um, so what do you have to do? You have to eliminate the gluten for those people who are sensitive to it, um, right along with that glyphosate right out the window. Um, what are some alternatives? One really good, al or one alternative that I use is it's called Ezekiel bread. Now it does have gluten in it, but the grains are sprouted. So there is uh, also in it uh, millet, spelt, barley, lentils, along with the wheat grains that are in it as well. Again, they're sprouted. And what sprouting does is it helps to break down those anti-nutrients. And when it does that, it makes the um, uh, the other nutrients that are bread that are in the bread and in those grains makes them more bio bioavailable for your digestive system. 
So that's what sprouting does for the Ezekiel bread. It's also organic. So it's, it is a good alternative that I use. Um, another thing that you can do is you can get uh, breads, which are kind of hard to find, but they're out there, that are from the ancient grains, meaning those grains are not hybridized. So uh, like einkorn wheat. Um, so fine breads that are that you uh, that are made of einkorn wheat. There's also other um, ancient grains out there, but einkorn is the one I can think of right now. Start making your own bread um, out of these um, ancient grains. So then the other thing that I was going to talk about that I was going to tell you that's very important to help you to help to eliminate this brain fog is exercise. So um, and specifically cardio, because, you know, there's lots of fitness people out there that poo poo cardio um, and its benefits. But really, it's one of the best um, for brain health and eliminating brain fog because it carries oxygen to the brain and helps to heal your brain health issues. So it's very important, 30, 20 to 30, 30 minutes a day of cardio health, even brisk walking, you know, getting your heart pumping, getting that blood flowing, getting that oxygen to the brain so that you can clear that brain fog. And you're, if you're out in the sunshine, even better, you're getting that additional vitamin D helping to heal you as well. So, um, Remember that uh, PDF that I told about, told you about in the in the description. You can download uh, download that for more beneficial tips on how to help you heal that brain fog. If you like that, also subscribe uh, to this channel and press the notification button. And I will see you again at the next video.